Hi friends, this is Sandra Brown of Life Past 80. And uh, this is Valentine's Day. I'm gonna do a couple videos. And Bill and I are getting ready to meet a couple, two couples, and we're going out for dinner. And I thought we'd better shoot this and let you see. I bought this on Amazon, okay? And I bought the pants on Amazon. Um, it's like a pullover jersey with the see-through sleeves. I want you to see the sleeves. Okay. Okay. Here's the back of it. And the pants from Amazon too. And um, they have a, they tie here, but they're kind of elastic and they're kind of a high-waisted. And they tie at the ankles, which is kind of cute. The shoes, I think I got them on Amazon, but that was a long time ago. But I'll put a link for everything that I'm wearing. And there's how the pants fit. Okay, well, Bill and I did get the back porch finished. And we got some more pictures, more paintings of mine hung up. I, we just thought it'd be better to have them hanging in the house rather than sitting out in the garage getting all banged up. Although some of the frames there are getting a little banged up. And maybe, I thought maybe you'd like to just kind of look around the porch a little bit. Um, first, I'll show you the paintings. You want to scan over there, baby? I guess we could start on this wall and work our way around. I'm going too fast. It's okay. Maybe I'll turn the light on now. It helps a little. And maybe the other. But uh, the one on the bottom is a bluebird that I painted. It's an original. And we do get bluebirds here. Um, I haven't seen a lot of them, a few, because, well, spring is coming and we will be, and they have bluebird nest here on the golf course. And, uh, what, what, honey? We have two of our own. Oh, two of our own bluebird houses. Yes, we do. And above that, let's see. Well, that one that I just showed was 2017. The one above is 2016. And it's an original. It's white geraniums in the window and with the sheer curtains on the side. And both frames, all these white frames, um, uh, my husband who passed away, Larry, he made all the frames and then I painted them. And they're painted on boards that we went to Home Depot and got together and then he cut them for me. We used to do that together. And on this wall, we have three paintings that are, uh, they were all, I just was in the, the ball jars. I just love those, the look of that. And uh, I think it was 2017, I painted all of those. The one on the right is with tulips. And the one in the middle, I think it's my favorite one, is with uh, lilacs. Do a close-up, honey. That ball jar, they might want to see that. And the one to the left of that is with some wild daisies. Do you have the one to the left, honey? Yeah, okay. And then we put a few above, and <laughs> we didn't have brains for all of them, but we put a few above the door. And uh, this is one I did with jo Johannes, oh, I'm saying this because they, Blute House, yes. And uh, he's the one that you can sign up online with him. And his uh, classes are very reasonable and he's very good. And the one next to it is something I just made up. It's, um, it's a little old man coming down the dirt road. And uh, that's his wife back there and she's waving at him. The dinner's ready and the dog's coming too. And he's got fields of wildflowers. It's an original. And the one next to it, this boat, um, I think it was called Waiting. It's waiting to be taken back out to the water, but it, that's an original too that I did. And the one next to it, I love this one. It's not original. I've seen this on uh, the internet somewhere. Don't know who the artist was, but uh, that was in 2015. And the next one is one that I made up and I did this one for an art class that I was teaching at Hobby Lobby. 2000, what is that? 17. 17 again. And the one next to it 
is an original. That is a home in Crown Point, Indiana. And that's a big lilac bush that they had there. It was that big too. And it was a historic home they had there. And down below that, I uh, just love the colors on this. This was uh, with a class I painted with Nancy Medina again, uh, who taught you can do close up on them. They might like to see those flowers and the colors. And the one little one down below, 2018, I just made that one up with the bumblebee, small painting. But I like the way the bumblebee came out. And to the left, these are both originals. The one on top is a cottage window with the roses growing on the outside of it. And it's really thick paint. I used it, especially in the roses. I used a palette knife to paint that. And down below that, it's an original that I painted. And I was both 2016. The one above is 2015. But uh, this is, uh, and the fence is kind of breaking down and... Uh, full of the old roses hanging over. And then once again, I used a palette knife. It's very thick, the paint is there. And now he's gonna go way up high, above the door. And this is, you'd have to be from Hammond, Indiana, and there could possibly be somebody watching this and let me know if you are. Uh, it was a little restaurant on Cayman Avenue called the Red Rooster. And I would, that uh, was in the days where we did a lot of walking when it come to school and things. And, after high school, I would walk home, and uh, it always smelled so good. It was french fries and hamburgers going, and we'd go in, and uh, we couldn't always afford to have a hamburger, but we had french fries and a Coke, and we got to know the owner, a Greek man in there. I don't know if he's still living or not. Okay, then we can maybe show the porch a little bit, huh? Um, this is the door going out. It's a le like a, a leaded glass is going out into our porch in the back. And next to it is um, a cross that we hung up that this was Bill's and it was made out of willow honey. I think it's willow. Grapevine. Oh, grapevine, yeah, of course. And uh, we have lots of windows out here. And there's, of course, my light for when I do, I'm gonna do another one probably tonight, but uh, yeah, I'll be using the ring light on the stand. And uh, there's my plant that I got out of garage sale. <laughs> it's doing so good. It's an umbrella plant. And uh, I talked to it today because <laughs> they were saying that they're alive and they they like it and they, they've done studies that they do better when you talk to them. So I talked to it. And over here is Bill's, uh, this is Bill's, what do you call it, barometer, honey? A uh, weather station. Weather station. Yeah, it says, <clears throat> from, oh, I ain't got my glasses on. I can't read it. And this was Bill's up here. This is a show in Tennessee where that heart is at. And this was, we got more windows here all wrapped all around. And this was Bill's. And uh, we were thinking we could use this to play cards. This would be perfect for that. We haven't done it yet because we just moved in. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you last time. This is my collection of golf balls from our backyard because we live on the golf course. In fact, I picked one up the other day, and the, there was a golfer out there, and I didn't know it was his. And he goes, hey, uh, you've got my ball. <laughs> oh, sorry. So I guess I better look around next time before I start picking these things up. And besides, Bill's the one that usually takes the dog out, not me. But if he finds a golf ball, he'll bring it to me. And uh, I got this in Walmart, honey. Yep. Uh, I just thought that was so cute. And it's got stones in it, but they're glued in. And this little stand is so cute. It looks so real to me. And then around here, there's more windows. And our TV is here. So we did. Now, usually when it's warm weather, uh, we were out here. But once it got cool weather, we ended up, you can kind of scan where they can see in the living room. We ended up in the living room in that double love seat. <laughs> it's kind of wrinkled up in there. <laughs> it's a mess in there, don't show me. Okay, guys, well, we're going to have to well, back up a little bit and get me on here. Okay, we uh, are going to be heading out pretty soon. I've got one more video that I want to do. It's called, uh, what was the name of that title? That uh, uh, Love, Love Letter Love from Letter. My Father, something like that. And uh, it's a good Valentine's Christian video. I think you're going to really like it. I've saved it 
for a year. I got it at one church I was at, and I wanted to share that with you. Okay, I want to wish you all, I know, all a very happy Valentine's Day, and I dearly love you, and remember that God loves you like, better than any man could or anybody else. Please subscribe and hit like. I would appreciate it. You know, I always forget to say it, but I'm doing better. On the other side of that camera, Mr. Bill is trying to remind me. Let them see you, honey. They want to see Mr. Bill. Wish You could wish him a happy. And Mr. Bill wants to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, ladies. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Aw. Okay, guys. Bye-bye now.